Hey everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about vitamin A. So there's some people out there that actually believe that you can't get vitamin A from plants, even though if you look at all the scientific literature or nutrition textbooks or even the American Dietetic Association, you'll see that there's actually a group that they call pro-vitamin A that is all the plant-based sources of vitamin A. So just to let you know, <clears throat> before I get into this video, all the information I'm going to be discussing is actually sourced from the Linus Pauling Micronutrient Information Center, and I'll leave a link down below. They actually go through all of the macro and micronutrients that are important in human nutrition, and you can see that all of them have their own plant-based sources that come uh, with them, and you can read specific information <clears throat> about each uh, nutrient that you're interested in in that link. So vitamin A is an extremely important nutrient in human uh, development and in human health. It serves roles such as vision, immunity, and overall um, uh, gene expression. So it affects us at a DNA level and is extremely important in pre and pro postnatal development uh, all the way from embryonic development to you know, when a baby is growing as well. So it's extremely important if you're interested in getting pregnant, you have appropriate vitamin A status. And RDA for vitamin A can be found on <laughs> the Linus Pauling uh, Micronutrient Information Center page of vitamin A. So I'm going to talk uh, just real briefly about the two different kinds of vitamin A. So there's preformed vitamin A, which is animal derived, and pro-vitamin A, which is plant derived. Uh, it's important to get the majority of, if not all, which is what I do. I get all of my vitamin A from plant-based sources. And I actually I usually exceed the RDA for vitamin A. Um, from plant-based sources, which is extremely healthy and actually acts protective um, against several kinds of diseases and as well as um, is a uh, important factor for immunity as well as vision. So those are the basic uh, functions of vitamin A in the human body is for vision and immunity as well as, like I said before, gene expression. So when we're in our developmental stages, as well as preserving our cells and keeping them healthy um, as full-grown humans. So something I wanna mention about preformed vitamin A, which is a vitamin A derived from animal products, you can actually overdose on this form of vitamin A. So, and it actually leads to liver toxicity and can result in birth defects and other really horrible um, problems in the human system. And it's really, really easy to overdose on this preformed vitamin A. So it's extremely important to get your vitamin A from plant-based sources because you can't overdose on beta carotene, which is um, one of the pro-vitamin A uh, carotenoids. So that's about it for this video. Um, I'm basically debunking Megan X Rose's post about vitamin A not being uh, absorbed from plant-based sources. It's completely incorrect. I don't know where these YouTube, Instagram, nutrition people think that they are like where they're getting their information from, they really need to check their sources and stop spreading this misinformation that can be really detrimental to people's health. So that's the whole purpose of this video. I hope you learned something. Oh, let's talk real quickly about what foods are really high in vitamin A. So these are going to be your orange, red, yellow, and green fruits and vegetables. So the oranges have a tendency to be the highest in vitamin A, but don't forget about the green ones. So we have sweet potatoes, carrots, cantaloupe, spinach, kale, broccoli, squash. It's squash season. Go get your squash on specifically butternut squash, but kabocha squash is really high in vitamin A as well as delicata squash. Um, so all these really yummy uh, oh, mangoes. And so uh, there's a full list on the Linus Pauling Institute. You can also check on chronometer when you plug in your daily diet. It'll show what um, how much vitamin A you had that day. So yeah, easy peasy. There it does it for vitamin A. You can get it from plants and it keeps you super healthy. Okay, that's it for this video. Bye guys.